Here is everything that you need to know about grass pollen allergies as we're going through the spring and summer seasons. I'm a board certified allergist and if you want to learn more about allergies, asthma, immunology, hit that follow button for more information. Since today is May 4th, I want to show you what grass pollen looks like under the microscope, which it kind of looks like the Death Star if you look at it carefully. Grass pollen is a lightweight material that can easily travel through the air as a part of a plant's reproductive life cycle and can cause a lot of symptoms of allergies, including runny nose, sneezing, stuffy nose, postnasal drip, and cough. This pollen grain in most parts of the United States starts to get released in the late spring and into the summer, so most places it's between April to June or July, but in warmer parts of the United States it may be released year-round. There are many different types of grass pollen allergens in the United States, and I list a few of them here. Some of them are more allergenic compared to others, but these are different depending on where you live. In the case of timothy and orchard grasses, the protein structures of these grass pollens have some similarity to fresh fruits such as cantaloupe, honeydew, and tomato. And so some people, when they eat these fresh fruits, they can develop localized symptoms in their mouth that's itching, burning, or a spicy sensation that's known as oral allergy syndrome. If you cook these foods, can them, or process them, then these symptoms will go away. Here are some tips to help treat grass pollen allergies. The first is that you got to confirm that you actually have a grass pollen allergy by getting an allergy test, and an allergist is a great place to start to get accurate testing. Keep in mind that the grass pollen that you're allergic to comes from grasses that are growing and have flowers on the top of them. So when you cut your lawn and you don't have any flowers from that, you're not getting pollen being released there. Or if you're on some type of sports playing field, those grasses are cut and you're not breathing in pollen from that. It's coming from places potentially several miles away. So you should definitely check for pollen counts in your area to see if the grass pollen counts are high to reduce exposure to the outdoor environment. Keep your windows closed at all times so that you are not bringing grass pollen into your home. And whenever you come home from being outside, make sure you're changing your clothes and keeping your shoes at the front of the house and not tracking it inside, especially in your bedroom. Nasal rinses like a neti pot or a saline rinse bottle can be very helpful to use on a regular basis so that you can flush out these pollens to prevent continual inflammation from happening in the future. There are various medications that can help treat grass pollen allergies, such as oral antihistamines, nasal sprays that are steroids or antihistamines, or prescription medications such as leukotriene receptor antagonists like Montelukast. For some people with severe grass pollen allergies, they may need to do allergy immunotherapy, which are injections to help train the immune system to be less reactive to these things. Let me know if you found this information helpful in the comments section, follow for more information, and have a wonderful day.